This video tutorial looks at how you can build wildcard searches into Perfectit. So first off, what's a wildcard search? Wildcards are symbols that you use in search to look for patterns instead of exact phrases. So, for example, if we pull up uh, words advanced find and replace, then we turn wildcard search on, and we can type in a search like this. Now that pattern might look confusing or um, maybe even rude, but actually what we're searching for here, this first symbol means the start of a word, that's followed by a lowercase s, the star uh, looks for any number of characters, until we hit that final symbol, which is the end of a word. So if we click find next, what we'll see is it locates all words that begin with a lowercase s, which is a little difficult to see on this screen, but hopefully you can get the idea. So wildcard search is an amazing way to work. It's fast, it's powerful, and it's a great way to search for errors quickly. But wildcards can be tricky to learn. So if you're not familiar with them already, there's a great free guide at www.editorium.com. And then click freebies. And then choose advanced find and replace for Word. You could download a document that will guide you through all of these concepts. Another great resource is Graham Mayer's MVP site. That's available here. It's a handy resource for remembering all the different wildcards that work with Word. So for the rest of this video, we're gonna assume that you've spent some time with those or that you're already familiar with Word's wildcard search and replace features. So to start, open Perfectit, then select the style that you're working with and choose Edit Current Style. Then select the Wildcards tab this tab functions almost exactly like the Always Find tab that we looked at in tutorials 4, 5, and 6. You see four columns. The first three, Find, Preferred, and Style Notes, work exactly like the Always Find tab. The wildcard description is a little different. We'll come back to that. To add a wildcard pattern, start by entering the pattern that you want to look for. The patterns work identically to Word's wildcard search. The menu on the side has all the same special characters that are available in Word. And exactly like Word's wildcard search, it is case sensitive. So we could add our same search, uh, but this time let's have it start with either a lowercase or uppercase s. Then we're gonna add that without a replacement entry. So it will find the locations in the document, but it won't prompt for a specific fix. Since there's no fix, in this case, we'll use the wildcard description. It appears where the fix would, and we could write a note for the user. We can still add a style note that will also appear to the user. Then let's go ahead and add another one. This pattern looks for numbers 1000 to 9999 with no thousand separator. So there's a good chance that these might be years. This time let's add a replacement. And just like words replace function, you can use slashes to refer to groups that are in brackets. So let's replace it with AD and then write slash one to refer to the pattern in our bracket. So this will insert the letters AD before any year we choose to fix. Now let's save those and see them in action. We start perfect it and we're gonna go ahead and jump straight to the wildcard test. And that first pattern shows each of the words that begins with a letter S. And that second pattern is finding years and suggesting a fix for them. The great thing about adding wildcards to a perfected style sheet is that it means you don't have to remember each wildcard pattern that you use. They're all programmed in. Even better, when you do a wildcard search, it shows you each of these locations and lets you choose which ones to fix. That's a powerful combination that gives you a lot of control over how to enforce your style. Wildcard search is actually one of the most complicated features of Word. So if you're feeling confused at this point, don't worry. You can come back to this topic in time. The next video will be much easier. It will look at how you can modify a style sheet as you work without even opening Perfected Style Sheet Editor.